Telegram from little Joe. Oh, good. Just wanted to hear from him. Ordered gear and new seed. Everything fine. On way home. Stage arrives Virginia City four days if weather holds. Oh, scenery very interesting. Scenery. Never figured little Joe to be interested in the scenery. Well, knowing your brother, I guess that would depend on the scenery. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it is, I hope he can handle it. Well, don't worry about your brother. Whatever it is, he'll handle it pretty well. That's for sure. Hey, man. You wet your handkerchief with this. Make you feel better. Thank you. Huh? No, thank you. This is terrible country. Yeah, dry and dusty. Reminds me of my native Sicily. I've never been to your native Sicily, but I can bet that their women aren't as pretty as ours. It's obvious you've never been to my country, senor. But in this case, senorina, I will have to agree with him. You haven't been long in these parts, have you? No, just traveling, looking for a place to settle in this new country. My father, the Baron, suggested I come here. Well, this isn't much right along here. It's real pretty, though, when we get up in the mountains. If we survive the trip and the company. Oh, it feels like eating time again. Would you like some jerky? Would you like some jerky? No, thank you. Yeah. This primitive way of eating, it's hard to get used to. I'm willing to try, sir. Oh, there's a real smart gal. This primitive jerky you speak of has saved my life many times. What do you do for a living? I'm a fur trader. I've traded fur all through this country, the Blackfoot and the Shawnee. Been trading furs for 20 years. <laughs> Fur trading. This is a business? Dude, it's a big business. I've got $5,000 in my pocket right now just for this one trip alone. This whole country is barbarous. I can't wait to get to San Francisco and civilization. Why do you want to get to this San Francisco, well? Huh? Get away from certain men. <laughs> Driver. Must be drunk. Don't forget he's trying to make Owl's Point by nightfall. It's about 50 miles. What he's trying to do is kill us. Ah. There is something wrong, boy. Maybe you're right.
do, Lord. None of this was Stubby Barclay's fault. You never knew what happened to him. Rode kind of a lonesome saddle most of his days. He didn't get much out of this life, Lord, so... You please take care of him in the next. That's about it, Lord. God rest his soul. Amen. Amen. I wonder what it was that struck him down. He was a drunkard. The stage line should have known it. It's their responsibility to protect their passengers. Stubby didn't know his heart was going to stop. Nevertheless, he could have killed us all. But he didn't. What are we going to do now? Well, it's 50 miles to Al's Point. So we might as well start walking. Walking? That's right. We'll just follow the road. You know, Cartwright, we could cut through the Arroyo. We'd save at least a day. It's a pretty wild country. Well, not if you know it like I do. I've tramped this country for 20 years. Save that much time, we might as well do it. A day will mean a lot to the women. You get your things together, we're going to start walking. Walking. Uh, we walk 50 miles through the wilderness. Why don't we stay here and wait for someone to find us? So we can stay here for two weeks before anybody found us. We haven't got enough food or water to last that long. Best you just get your things together. Just take necessities. Well, in that case, I leave nothing. I have some valuable heirlooms in my luggage. Search yourself. You're the one that has to carry them. We've only got about an hour of sunlight left. We better get going, now, Carter. Wait one moment now. Who made you commander? Now, look, nobody made anybody a commander. You should have listened to him. He knows what he's talking about. I'm not sure we're doing the right thing. Just get some of your things together. Go, my beautiful dresses. Without water. What is this jerky? That's just dried beef. A little hard to chew, but it's good for you. If my father, the Maroni, could see me now, he wouldn't believe it. You got a knife, Carter? Yeah, I got one of my saddlebags. Hey, let me give you a hand with that. Oh. Thank you. Very pretty, isn't she? Yeah. Yes, yeah, she is. I wish you'd look at me that way. I'm sick of looking at you. You've been around here, Mr. Cartwright? We've got a ranch right outside Virginia City. We? Oui. You and your family? Mm-hmm. Well, and there you are. I thought I had near prospect. How old are they? Boys or girls? Well, I'm not married. I was talking about my father and brothers. <laughs> Where are you heading? Oh, I'm not sure yet. As the story goes, I sing for my supper. Sometimes I think that's all I'm fit for. Come on, you know better than that. Do I? Oh, why do we all dream so big and live so small? 
Will you go away and leave me alone? Oh, Howard, please. They'll hear you. I don't care about these people. Howard. Now, will you go away and leave me be? Well, some of the people in this country are as unappetizing as this ridiculous food they eat. Now, you listen, Baron. No, I am not the Baron. My father is the Baron. Then you listen to me. In this country, we're careful what we say to people, or they wind up without a tongue in their head. Comprendo? That's enough. That's rest. I don't hear the women complaining. Well, I got to let them rest. I'm not used to it. Yeah, I guess you're right. Looks like it's blowing a pretty good storm anyway. There's a line cabin up the way. We can make it. Spend the night there. Signorina? Thank you. Oh, we have these cow punches in Palermo. Buteros, we call them. It's like cod fried, good fellows, but very simple. Signorina, you remind me of a girl in my village. Very pretty. Her name was Dina. She was my first love. Mm -hmm. Was she? And what happened to her? I came to America. And left her behind? She could not get permission. In Italy, these things are not so simple. But well, what about you? Uh, you have not said a word about yourself. Well, it's a long story. One I don't think you'd understand. All right, on your feet, everybody. Uh, there's our commander again. He likes to give orders. And where would we be without them, senor? <laughs> It's all right. We can bet down here for the night. I'll go out and see if I can scare up some game. Let me try to get these windows sealed up. Okay, Henshaw, you get some wood and build a fire. Laura, you come with me and we'll look for water. Laura, you do the cooking. No. No? You'll do as you're told. No, let her do it. Let her cook for you now. Now, you listen to me. You don't mind. Really, I'd like to cook. You can go with him. I really don't mind. Say, Commander. Don't you have any orders for me? You can give me a hand. Mr. Cartwright. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Rabbit's real good. Very tasty, Miss Hayden. No, thank you, but my compliments to the cook. Well, it's hard to make things taste good without a bit of salt. You're all just hungry. Who'd think that a desorto would wind up here eating like a savage? No more water. I am getting tired of you two commanders telling me what to do. I told you no more water. Now, there's six people here and there's four canteens. That means we're going to ration the water. You want a drink, you come to me. Who are you to give orders? Oh, shut up, Nora. He's right. If this baron had a chance, he'd drink all the water. No, I told you I am not a baron. My father is the baron of the Soto. That's right. You told me. Tell me, what do they call a, uh, a son of a baron? 
My older brother will inherit the title. You call me plain senor. What do you inherit, senor? Nothing. I will make my own way. Mm -hmm. Like you did today. You wouldn't last ten hours in this country alone. You know, you remind me of my father. Two things he knew. How to get rich and how to hurt people. How to hurt, hurt, and hurt. Now, for a man with my sensitivity who loves life, he was impossible. Well, that might well be. But if I had a choice between you and your father, I'd pick your father. <laughs> Nice night since the has died down. Mm-hmm. Why don't you leave him alone? Leave who alone? What? Oh, you've got enough troubles without your causing more. Well, I, I kind of forget my manners. I've been living with the engines and the fur traders for so long. You know, Laurie, what I, what I really need is a good woman to take me in hand. Mm. Yes, you do. Not me. <laughs> Wait a minute, Lloyd. We understand each other. <laughs> You're hurting my arm. Let me down, you bully. Fence it. Forget it, Benson. I had to bury one man this week, Benson. to the aid of a lady in distress. If it bothers you again, you just let me know. I can always take care of the likes of a Ho and Benson that you are worried about. I can take care of myself. Don't prove it around me, hmm? Okay, Grandma. <laughs> expect you two back so soon to learn anything about women, kid? Now you got a big mouth, Benson. Oh, we're just trying to give you the experience of all of my years of living. Wasn't I, Laurie? Living with what? Animals? Well, now, wait a minute. Living with animals is not so bad. They can teach you a lot of things. They can teach you that things aren't what they seem to be. Now, take Nora here. Nora looks like a mouse, doesn't she? She's not. She's nothing. I think you're horrible. No, I just see beneath people, that's all. Take that dude there, that uh, Roberto. I bet you think beneath all that la di da he's a real man, huh? Underneath, he's just like he looks. He's all talk. Two people ever fool me. What about Mr. Henshaw? Well, I'm a bartender, Miss Hayden. I'm on my way to San Francisco to take a job. No, you're not a bartender. I don't know what you are, but you're not a bartender. I'll say one thing for you, Benson. You got a lot of opinions. Yeah, I do. I've got a lot of opinions about a lot of things and a lot of people. Well, what about you, Benson? You got an opinion about you? Yeah, let me tell you about Howard Benson. He always knows what he's doing. He never lies. And he'll kill if he's ever interfered with. <laughs> Well, if you're through giving us your opinions, I suggest you go to sleep.
sign of them yet. It's pretty much like our little brother, ain't it? I ain't never known him to be in too much of a hurry. Well, that stage was due in before noon. If he thinks we're going to sit up all night waiting supper for him. Maybe they got in some bad weather. Stage is going to be even later yet. Well, maybe. If you want to know what I really think, Paul, you know that scenery he mentioned in the telegraph? Mm -hmm. I got a notion he's probably showing it off right now in a restaurant in Virginia City. Where you go? Well, if you ain't got no objection, it's a nice night for a ride, and I thought I'd mosey into Virginia City and take a look at that scenery. All right, go ahead. And don't you get lost in Virginia City. No, sir. Feel better? A little. It's getting pretty bad out there again. Did you, did you take care of him? We buried him. Did you find anything? Any sign of someone who might have done it? You mean someone besides us? What are you saying? Who do you think you're kidding? He's saying it had to be one of us. He gave no one any good reason to like him. Especially you. I remember last night he threatened to kill you. I remember last night he insulted you. <laughs> That's not the reason he was killed, not because somebody wasn't friendly with him. Why, then? The money. The $5,000. I went through his things. It's not there. One of us has $5,000. Is this your knife? You know it's my knife. You know it's the knife that killed Benson. You also know I gave it to him the night before last. He had it with him till he died. You had no reason to do that. No proof. We found him over the dead man's body with a knife in his hand. You want more proof? Find something, we'll tie him up. Yeah. Women, they're impossible to understand. Not all women. I'm not like that. Mm. I want to, uh, to thank you for helping me tonight. I like helping you. You do? Yes. You're not, you're not just saying that? No. Nora, I wasn't going to say anything. It's you I like. But, but I thought you liked Laurie. No. But she's so pretty. If you did something with your hair, with your eyes, you could... Look like her? Oh. I don't know how. But it was very nice of you to say that. If we ever get out of out of this, can I see you sometimes? I want to so very much. Not just sometimes. I hope very much that you mean that. You know I mean it. Oh, I didn't like Benson, but I wouldn't kill him. I knew that. How come you know? Nobody else does. Oh, I just know. I've known a lot of men. It's 
So I just know. Thanks. I could help you escape. No. Why? Because one of those three people killed him. I have to find out which one it was. But what do you care? It's your life you're risking now. What are you proving? When you get to Al's point, there'll be a warrant out for my arrest in five minutes. If I run now, they'll be sure it was me. And if you stay here, the better will kill you the very first chance he gets. I think he killed Benson and stole the money. What makes you say that? He's a remittance man. His family paid him to stay away from them. I know the time. I still have to prove it was him. I'll help you all I can. But if you stay out of it, I don't want anything to happen to you. I've never known anyone quite like you. Francis, what are you doing? What were you doing? What were you planning? What's wrong? What happened? She was kissing you. She was whispering. I think she was going to try to help him escape. Oh, don't be a fool. Oh, why not? Then you could share in the money together. <laughs> well, you're even a bigger fool than Roberto. Oh, am I? I know your type. Using men to get what you want. It's not true. And even if it were... Stop that! It would be more honest than pretending to be something that you're not. What are you saying? What are you calling me? If the glove fits, win! Stop it, both of you! Oh, can't you see what she's doing? She's just trying to cover up the fact she was going to let him escape. I don't believe that, Miss Whitley. Well, then you must be blind. Haven't you seen the way they've been behaving toward each other all day? No more than with you and Roberto. That is different. Are you going to let him escape? No. But I would now. A thief? A murderer? Come on, you haven't proved that. I think we have. Oh, really, Mr. Henshaw? That's enough talk. You keep quiet. Let him talk. All right, we all know Benson was killed with my knife. Any one of you could have gotten it last night. All we have to do is figure out which one of you did it. We know which one it was. Now, enough of this nonsense. Oh, don't worry, Roberto. I don't think you did it. Why not? Because I think Benson was right. I don't think he's got the guts. He had enough guts to knock you in the head. That's different. He was pushed pretty far for that, Mr. Henshaw. See, I think Roberto really thinks I did it. Well, as long as we're talking about who could have done it, she could have. No, I don't think Laurie did it. I don't think you did it either. I don't think any woman could have done it. But you know who's left now, don't you? Yeah, you, Henshaw. And you've proof? No, not really, just the process of elimination. Oh, it's not much. But if I were Roberto, I wouldn't turn my back on you. We can't take a chance. He may be telling the truth. Against the wall. No, wait. I can't let this happen. He... He did ask me to help him escape. He even promised to share some of the money with me. Even to marry me. What? Yes. The night Benson was killed, I heard a noise, opened my eyes, and I saw him. You waited until now to say this? Don't you understand? to care for him. I even offered to help him escape. But not when he accuses an innocent man. We can't stay here any longer. I agree. I'm gonna drink of water. 
Now I tell you when to drink. You're going to lead us out of here. It's a pretty rough country. I couldn't lead you anywhere trussed up like this. Yeah. You're thinking, Cartwright. Don't think. You try something, I don't wait for them. I shoot you down like a dog. trying to do you know this country you're leading us through the worst part if you don't like the way we're going then you lead us It's pretty cold in here as soon as it turns dark. So we better go out and get some wood, start a fire. Yeah, time you'll go out and get some game. We're not going to untie your hands and give you a gun. I'll get the game. Lots of luck. You get some wood. What's the matter, Baron? No luck? You're going to get us out of here tomorrow morning, or I'm going to kill you. No, you're not. Because I want to live, too, and he's our only chance of getting out of here. I was your only chance, gentlemen. I just led you so far into the wilderness, you'd never find your way out. And this is where we're going to stay until that killer confesses. You listen to me. No, you listen to me. I got nothing to lose, because I'm going to die anyway. Now, either that killer confesses, or you're all going to die. Time he got here. Yeah. Where's little Joe? <clears throat> well, Paul, that dang stage ain't got into Virginia City yet. As a matter of fact, it ain't even got to Al's Point yet. Well, doesn't anybody know where it is? Well, they know it's somewhere between Benton Falls and Al's Point. Uh, after it left Benton Falls, it got into some bad weather, I reckon. Harley Green said that he figured maybe they took a detour or something. Well, look, you, uh, you have a cup of coffee. I'll get ready to ride with yeah. you. Yeah, Paul. The stage land's already put together a posse in Virginia City, and I told him I'd ride with him now. Since Adam's in Sacramento, I figured one of us ought to stay here in case little Joe gets to a telegraph office and tries to reach us. Well, uh, yeah, might be all right. 
All right, I'll stay here. But you make sure you send me a message from Miles Point, you hear? Oh, you'll hear from me. One way or another, you'll hear from me. That for him. Oh, the water! The, the water! The water! You're responsible for this. Stop him! Might make Cartwright break. Him or us. Give him the money. What? Give him the money. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Just do what I say. I don't know what you're saying, Miss Hayden. Miss Hayden! Stop lying for once, Father! Father? Yes. That's my father. He'll tell you. He's good at explaining things. Tell him how you killed Benson. Rory, I did not kill Benson. You didn't believe a word you said, did you? Papa, I believe in you. I don't care what anybody else says. I believe... Her father's trying to get away from the law. That's why I came west. It's... No, stop lying. For one stop lying, it won't do you any good anymore. Look, Rory, I am not lying. You're just like everybody else, aren't you? Once a man is outside of the law, don't you trust him? I was doing time, I got to know some men who were in on a good thing, so we decided we'd pull this one big job, get on our feet, then go on our way. Laurie met me at the prison gate, and... She... I told him to forget it, that I, I backed out. Well, they went ahead, they... They got caught, but they didn't forget it. They said I was in on it. I wasn't any ways near, but with my record, you don't stand around and argue. 
So that's why you said you saw me kill Benson? Yes. If they caught him one more time, he'd be executed. And I tried to protect him. But I was... I was so wrong. Believe me, I did not do this. Laurie, I have been in and out of prisons all of my life. I know everything they've got to teach you. Look, am I going to be such a fool? I'm going to kill a man with a knife in a room full of people when I can get him at a stage stop. I can wait till he gets to a hotel room in Rawls. Laurie, a rank amateur wouldn't be so foolish. Mr. Cartwright? Throw me the canteen. That's the last of our water. Throw me the canteen. Thank you. You're not going to get a mile in this heat. We're not going to die here. secret all this time. A secret? What secret? About Benson. You knew? Yes. You didn't tell him? No. <laughs> what did you do with the money? to me because you wanted the money no 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 don't, don't believe that but if i die i love you <laughs> where is the money if i died it wouldn't matter to you darling where is the money nora it won't do me any good at all <laughs> What it was the money. There wasn't any money. Howard didn't have any money. He, he was a he was a poor man. He liked to pretend he was a big man. He promised he was gonna marry me, you know. But he lied. So I killed him, but I didn't kill him for money. <laughs> and then there was Roberto. <laughs> the same. All over again. Uh, uh, the same.
Where'd you find him? I didn't catch up with him, but he got the owl's point, Paul. <laughs> well, sit down now. Let's have a look at you. All right. I'm fine, Pa. Just a little hungry, I think. Hey, that's a change. Now he's hungry. <laughs> well, I'll go take care of the horses. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll help sing us up some food. Sounds good, Pa. Yeah. Uh, Joseph. Uh, yeah, Pa. Take your feet off the table. <laughs> it's good to be home, Pa. <laughs> <laughs> 